Yo, what's good? We back here to the fucking reaction. I literally just said You wanna know what I people about these niggas, bro? At first, I was like, bro, is this nigga really egotistical? Nah, this is how I see it. I'm about to say some shit. I see Fousey as like, he's a nigga that wears his emotions on, him, on his sleeve. And he treats the people that's around him how he sees them. So, I personally see all these niggas as like, niggas that's around him for personal gain. Like, they're not here because they care about Fousey. They're not here for that. They're here because it's bringing, a, it's benefiting them in some way. So he treats them like that. All these niggas are literally, like, if you notice, they're just yes men. Or they're benefiting off of him in some way. Whether it's clout. Whether it's uh, another nigga who's getting free drinks off him. Free food. Like, like think about it, bro. A real nigga, bro. If, if you're really being treated that badly, bro. You would have been left. <laughs> That's just how it is. You would have been gone. You wouldn't deal with this. But there are people still choosing to be a part of this. Why? Because it's benefiting them personally, bro. Question from what advice do you have to Trying to get validation from niggas showing her ass. Like, come on, bro. I hate when... Oh, my God. I hate when bitches do that shit, bro. If you were a female watching my shit, bro, please don't ever become that. Like... Always seeking external validity, bro. That is the most pathetic shit. She don't give a fuck about him. She just cares about how it benefits her. Most likely, I guarantee you from this, her clout went up. Like, her, her, um, what am I trying to say? Her Instagram and shit. I promise you, bro. Her Instagram benefited from this. Like, the attention she was getting from this, she, she just overall benefited from it. But if she's really being treated like shit, like she's about to say in this, why are you back? <laughs> it's a cold world, bro. It really is. It's a cold that. world, my nigga. I asked you to talk. 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 No, you did not. Of course. The girls are always right. And I said, Kitty, come with me here. Let's talk. You just but, but niggas will feed into this shit and be like, oh, he's being emotionally abusive. Oh, he's so unstable. But look, listen to what he say. He's not saying nothing like out of the wall, bro. I apologized a hundred thousand times over. Even for shit that I didn't do, I owned it and said I'm sorry. At the end of the conversation, I go, Kitty, I just realized I wanted, I was upset. And now I'm here apologizing to you as if I'm wrong. You haven't apologized for anything. Do you know what you said to me looking dead in my eyes? The room key situation. No, you said, why would I apologize? But I came to you because I was upset with how I was treated. I came to you upset. We never, I understand you apologize, but that doesn't necessarily mean that we had a conversation or resolved. We did have a full conversation. But after. I heard you out, you heard me out. I heard you out, you heard me out. Regardless, after, as a human, you put your pride to side if you care about the person, the if you love them, and you say, you know what? I don't know what i did but i see how it affected you i'm sorry but we, at least is that really out of the wall bro it's just basically all this is just telling me bro this thing just wants somebody to care that's it he wanted he's looking for genuity is that how you say it's genuity and i hugged you tightly and i whispered in your ear for 45 seconds and the stream couldn't hear me thinking you came for me you go i just came here for my hotel room I wish on my mother's life that was a troll. You were dead serious. And you looked and said, what? I'm here for my hotel room. I'm, I'm sorry. Like, that's... That, I can't be blamed for that. I have emotions that are valid. Like, what? Do you think it's fair for me to be abused while... <laughs> Bro, what? Oh, my God. How? Like, this, this is what pisses me off. All right. Abuse, emotional abuse is like... When you're coming for their character, right? Like, psychologically fucking with them. That's emotional abuse, bro. He's just telling you how it is. If a woman feels like she's getting emotionally abused by Leave. Him, I'm gonna myself. And that goes back to my point. Like, if he's really that bad, why are you still there? Have a good day. But why would you not want to resolve because it? Because I'm emotionally... The reason why she bringing that up is because she's like, fuck... How? Cause she's benefiting. 
This is a cold world, bro. Shit like this is just like, it does, bro. It drives a wedge between you and people. Like, it does. I'm not gonna lie to you. Like, can I talk? You're not letting me speak. You I've said. heard you enough. Your but actions. You're not, you're not saying nothing when you talk. Kitty, yeah. Kitty Correo, you just looked at me in the eyes in front of my business my and said that I'm emotionally valid. abusing you. What does that have to do with anything, though? Like, you're not saying nothing that's related to emotion in any way. So why do you keep bringing that up? Like, he's invalidating your emotion. How? You haven't said one way of how he's doing it. Like, bro, I know what this nigga's talking Like, the shit he's saying isn't crazy. Like, he's saying shit that makes sense. <laughs> Sad to see, bro. It really is. I hate seeing this shit, bro. But he's still choosing to be a part of that. Why? For a stream? But at what cost? This nigga is literally, literally, literally on the brink of insanity. Like, yeah, bro. It sucks to see, bro. It really does. But hey, man, that's the reaction, man. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. I'm not this bitch, man.